Did Stephen Hawking just win another test? He said a black hole's event horizon area cannot go down. In the latest super clean LIGO merger, scientists measured the areas before and after the collision and found the final horizon is larger than the two originals combined. That is exactly what Hawking's area theorem predicts. Hawking's area theorem says the total event horizon area cannot decrease. LIGO's analysis reads the inspiral to estimate the masses and spins of the two original holes, then listens to the ring down to get the final hole's mass and spin. From those numbers, you can compute areas. Result, the final horizon area is bigger than the two originals combined. Hawking passes. Again, here is the part many people get wrong. Mass does not simply add. When two holes merge, a chunk of mass energy leaves as gravitational waves. Example numbers look like this. About 34 suns plus 32 suns become a final hole of about 63 suns. A few suns worth of energy fly out as ripples in spacetime. The area still grows because horizon area depends on mass and spin in a way that favors the bigger final hole. Why this matters? The area theorem is the black hole version of the second law. It says horizons behave like entropy. Every clean test that passes makes our picture of gravity and quantum fields a little tighter. Bottom line, the new analysis does not say the final hole is as massive as both added together. It says the horizon area must grow, and the data agrees.